Good morning. Special greetings to our kids and young at heart. Let's all relax our shoulders, take a calming breath, and settle in. Get ready for an amazing story from our Holy Troublemakers book. This story is about Wangari Mathai. Here's a picture of her. I have a few shadows here from my trees this morning. She had a lot of firsts. She was the first woman in Central Africa to earn a PhD. She was also the first woman to head a department at the University of Nairobi. She was the first woman to be Minister of the Environment in Kenya, and she was the first African woman to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. Wangari grew up in a small village in Kenya. Though she was raised Catholic, her family also followed some of the traditions of her indigenous native tribe. They believed that God, for instance, lived at the top of Mount Kenya, and so they always faced their houses so the front door faced that mountain. They also believed that some trees were sacred trees, God's trees. Many of the fig trees in her area were those trees. Every morning when Gari would go out to collect wood for her family, but she would never take wood from the fig tree because that was God's tree. Later as a scientist, she learned that fig trees grow very old and their roots go down deep into the ground. They, this helps break up the bedrock so the water can come to the surface. Their roots also help stabilize the soil on the mountainside. Here is a picture of a fig tree. It is four stories high and almost a hundred years old. Here's a picture of its roots. Or another fig tree, but nevertheless, look at the roots of those trees. You can see how they could break up the rocks. While she was away at college, large farms and developments came into the area and cut down all the trees. They polluted the water, and this meant that the women and girls had to walk a long, dangerous way to get water each day for their families. She was at the very first women's rights meeting for the United Nations in 1977 when she heard about the dangerous journey these women and girls had to take. So she said something had to be done. She said we should plant trees. People looked at her strangely. What? Not everyone knew what she did about trees and the land. She started the Green Belt Movement with many poor rural women from Kenya. The politicians and developers did not like this. They called her names, they beat her, and they put her in prison. But she kept planting trees. The first year, she only planted seven trees and five of the seedlings died. But the two that are, are remained are still alive today. The, the women just kept planting trees. Today, over 51 million trees have been planted in Kenya and other countries. In Kenya, a tree is a sign of peace and hope. So it was especially fitting that Wangari Mathai received the Nobel Peace Prize for her work. In her acceptance speech, she explained that many conflicts have ecological roots. Planting trees and paying attention to the balance of nature helps reduce major conflicts that often turn violent. When we plant trees, we plant the seeds of peace and hope, she said. Wangari Mathai had it in her heart to heal part of our earth. And by doing that, she also healed the people in it. 
I wonder what you see around you that could use some help. I wonder if you could do something for nature or someone nearby. I wonder what you have in your heart to do today. Let us pray. Loving God, is there somewhere you want us to be today? Is there someone or some place that needs our smile or needs a helping hand? Please help us to see that need. Help us to see the wonders of nature that surround us and to feel the harmony you have created for our lives. With grateful hearts, we thank you for your many blessings. Amen.